lift off of the the latest blast off from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The orbital Cygnus cargo ship is carrying three and a half tons of food and new scientific experiments to the International Space Station, including Diawata 1, a 50 kilogram microsatellite built by Filipino scientists. The $17 million craft is designed to take real time images of weather patterns and climactic change in a region that's often in the eye of the storm. President Benino Aquino has allocated $6 billion to the National Disaster and Risk Reduction Management Council, which aims to deal with environmental issues. Experts say that developing space technology will benefit the future of the Philippines. We can reap the benefits of technology by believing in our capability for technological self-reliance, and we can apply this to uh, disaster prevention and mitigation efforts. In the long term, it's going to be very cost effective. News of the launch made the headlines. Diwata 1 is only the third satellite the Philippines has launched into space. Besides monitoring weather patterns, it's also designed to map agricultural productivity. Using high resolution imagery, it'll determine what land and water resources are available or in decline. These Filipinos welcome the space project. I think that's pretty awesome because, I mean, there's a lot that has to be done in, in terms of like disaster prevention. I haven't heard anything about it, but if there would be one, then that would be a very welcome thing for the Philippines. I think it's a very good um, move by the Philippines to uh, launch a satellite to be able to benefit all of us. It's hoped this technology will be able to warn everyone of impending storms that have, in the past, had a devastating effect on the Philippines and its neighbors. Diwata 1 is expected to orbit the Earth for the next 20 months and take as many as 3,600 images using its four high-resolution cameras. The Philippines is no stranger to natural disaster and climate change. Each year, storms and typhoons potentially affect the lives of millions of people on this archipelago of over 7,000 islands. The Diwata 1 satellite may have arrived just in time to monitor the weather patterns around the Philippines because the typhoon season is just a few months away. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Manila.